<laughs> All right, so this is uh, September 24th of 2011, and we're going to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Yeah! yeah. Woo! <laughs> With uh, Eric, Nate, CJ, yeah. Jared, my, uh, Gideon, yeah, boy. Jared, which I don't know where he is, and my father, who's chaperoning. Peace, bro. Yeah. It's big, it's, it's bad, it's a power flow of 5 from the 599 today, and listen to this song. They're like, uh, they use environment that they... That's ruining it. Yeah, it's a power flow of 599 We are here! The Pine Tree, the Double Tree Hotel. Sam, I got this. See that? What time is and, that's what, and this is supposed to get worse too. Yeah. yeah this, exactly. this is still like 20 minutes before it even opens. The We're early 10 opening. minutes away from opening. And we'll take 49. It's getting and look bigger look and bigger. And did I mention? Got lucky that we got here. <laughs> Day one through one. I just had a random all city. This is the uh, Saturday pass. So. So you have to use. Early stay entry. Did you see that? Not, my, not yours. Not Early us. entry. So yeah. Well, we'll see you inside. Retro gaming. Look at all these casino kid, airwolf. Oh my gosh, Sam. Oh my. The blues brothers. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, that one's a class. Barbie found. Did she a lot? Barbie found. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm gonna buy this. No. Disc of Shimmy. I actually bought this game. Everybody did. That's why they're only worth like four bucks. <laughs> I, I could not believe what well, we just found, guys. Virtual Bart. Yes, we just found <laughs> oh my God. a game of The Simpsons for the Genesis. Achievement unlocked. Found a licensed game featuring Bart. Yep. <laughs> Achievement unlocked, guys. Found Sega software. And this. Made... Yeah. Okay, that's ridiculous. That's what Sam says. Posters. First Eat. Galactic Empire, guys. It's a dollar bill. One dollar bill. Great Nintendo stuff. Well, as you know, I need more Mario posters. <laughs> my dad would kill for this. Hey, what's your name, sir? Nathan. Nathan? That's my name, too. <laughs> he stole my name. <laughs> He's making this awesome stuff right here. Is that a working art? Special look inside the dome. What's that? Can I get a look inside the dome again? Uh, I bought a little bit because I just got the dome on. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll move it around a little bit. Cameron! Yeah, found him. Hey. We have found our, our what, six member? Yeah. Six? Yep. Seven. Come on, guys, let's keep moving. I'll be All right, there. well. I'll follow. I don't have no idea. You can actually do it for the one on the website. Oh, yeah. Which is right there. 150 for each one. Um, if you I don't um, Alright guys, check this out. So many wooden arcade. Taking this. What's up fellas? What's up? These are very cool looking. Thank you. The feather. I would actually get this. Just I would get that. <laughs> you can have Sonic. Huh? Mario! There's a Mario over there. Oh, this. Watch him in the lock! I bought her! Wait, what'd you buy? What'd you buy? Radio. Radio. <laughs> I bought that a lot. 32 X Games found. Oh my god. What? In their box, no less. Doom, Doom guys! We found Doom! Mortal Kombat for the 32 X. Oh my gosh, Mortal Kombat Dude. 2. We're at Mortal Kombat 9, guys, and we just found Mortal Kombat 2. <laughs> that just shows how old that is. Virtual Okay, new achievement. Virtual Boy games found. Virtual Boy! Okay. Tell where you land. I love this game too much. Star I have that one. Oh, it's all good. What the fuck is that? Is that one dollar or two dollars? Oh, that's just something someone wrote on there. Oh. Um, five bucks to charge it. Oh, really? Nate. I can do that. Achievement. We can play. Do you run? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, man.
Oh, what'd you get in, Sam? God. I had this game when I was a kid. All right, all right, this is what Sam just bought. Sam, show us the box. What you got? All right, I just got Pilot Wings in its box. How much is it? Normally, Pilot Wings is about five bucks anyways. I don't know how much it's worth in the box. How much is this game? So... Pikmin 2? Jared, Pikmin 2? Oh, oh my goodness. How much? I don't know. It doesn't have a price on it. It's really rare. Pikmin 2. 2. The sequel is really rare. Pikmin 2. We've got through so many games, guys. Pokemon. These are all in. Most of these are You guys want to see something really awesome? Oh my gosh, Horned Owl. Wow. Electroplankton for the DS. Electro Wait, what? Whoa, that looks oh, awesome. Oh, and this is a Tingle game for the DS. Yeah! It's a lock, fan Tingle game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The, the, um, the PSP version of Ragdoll. Dude, Woo! you have to bring like 50 bucks here every time. I'm only up 20 on Let's get an overview of everyone. Nice beard, sir. Oh, right, must that. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> 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 Gold Nintendo 64. Very nice looking. Gold Nintendo 64. Achievement unlocked. Is that rare? I don't know. I want to do it. I don't know if this is models for the systems. I know some games, their value. Gold version. I have to challenge somebody right What is this? Wait, what? There's six lazy dragons and there's so many packaging. There you go. Come on. No way! Oh my god, that's awesome! There's the Genesis version. I, I found the Jurassic Park version of the oh, Genesis. Yes, finally! Oh my. Over here. What's Even unlocked Found Cosmic Carnage! Yeah! Yes. Wait a minute. Is this Achievement like, unlocked Found Cosmic Carnage? <laughs> the worst game for the 32X. Dude, that is just amazing right there, guys. What what the hell is in this? box? Battery if you need it. Cosmic Carnage in the package, baby. 32X. <laughs> Sam's pretty excited about it. He's one of the worst games ever. <laughs> <laughs> For the 32X. Horrible game. Okay, guys. There's two for well, there you go. Except for it's 75 bucks. But um, amazingly, yeah. it's awesome. great and very good. Oh, my God. I wonder how much they're asking for the Smash Brothers. If, it, if it's more than 20, I can't afford it. That's, that's freaking. I want to get this only for the club. I want this for my club. We have a gaming club at our school and we love it. I've never heard of this either. Bro, get a 64 version of StarCraft? You didn't even know that. Who oh. knew? Wait, StarCraft? What? I never heard of this. Dude, record this. Okay, how much are you asking for this? 20? Oh, I can do that. You guys want to help me? Price-wise? Because this is for the club, not for me. How much for this? 100. Yeah, it's in its, it's sealed. You guys... <laughs> Web browser. Guys, check this out. Web browser. I can't wait to use my 56k modem. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. hilarious. That's a card once again, but once again it's not the only game I want. Yeah, mine's blue too. I had this as a kid. It is a horrible game. Never play it ever. Scooby-Doo. Ever. Ever. <laughs> Did we mention ever? Alright guys, one of the worst games ever right here. What? Never get Rengoku. One, two, I don't freaking care. Never get Can I see my parked a vehicle out in the driveway in front of a red curb. Uh, they will, they will Sam, go. Sam found something amazing. This could get interesting. Cody! My little Oh gosh! Oh, God. <laughs> a Krabby with Cass, a wicked spell, and Crystal, the pony's friends, are prisoners. That didn't even make sense! Oh, I have some more. Wow. Epic game fail achievement of the video. Hot wheel. What do I do with this? <laughs> it builds my anime. Oh. <laughs> oh my what? god. Hello Kitty Online, guys. <laughs> Hello Kitty Online. 17 bucks. 17 bucks. I can't believe this even exists. I told you I found a Hello Kitty game over there. Well, no. That's not what's amazing. What's amazing is oh that it's an online god. game. Dragon Age Origins. Halo 2. Like
like the special edition. I need this. You know they have Xbox 360 games, Wii and PS3 games right there, right? Uh -huh. That'll raise your cool on. Wow. God, I want that. Here's the underdog console, the CDI. <laughs> oh, no. And the, and the Jaguar. And in case you were wondering, this is what a CDI game looks like, especially <laughs> Link, Faces of Evil. Oh god. One of the th oh. it's it's the Triforce of awfulness. One of the three. It's the Triforce of crap. You guys any item you're second guessing or thinking about buttons there on the one of your game out. The doors are gonna open. Be careful with the zombies. About ten minutes. Oh man, we got ten minutes. No oh, really. Be hurry, you better hurry if you wanted to get that one. Game I want back to I want the Kirby game. For crying out loud, I can't. Do you want find this game? It. Do you want it? I'm also looking for Kid Clown and Crazy Chase, which is a Super Nintendo game that I grew up playing and is really hard. I don't know. I'm not, I don't know if it's worth me digging down. First buy of the day. No, not first buy, because Eric bought some stuff earlier. First buy of the day for me. Yeah, and only buy, probably, because that's all your money. Most likely, yeah. I got 200 Do you bucks. even have money for lunch? Nope. I bought some food, so I'm fine. Uh, didn't you drop it? I'd be there on Sunday. Hey guys, we found Otherwise, Bob I'd be here. from Retro Gamers. What's retro up? Hunters. Retro Hunters. Yeah, Retro, retro Gamers. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Ow! Going on Mario True. <laughs> A uh, classic team. I have about 3,000 subscribers. I really? Do, I do you got more than us. I, got, I do Lex Plays. Awesome! Yeah. All right. Sweet. We'll subscribe to you. I'll buy your t-shirt. I'll be your fan. That'll be great. <laughs> well, we'll buy yours when you get it out. Sweet. Yeah, me too. I'll... Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, and we'll try to get it up on the website pretty soon. So that'll awesome. be awesome. Yeah, I saw a couple of your videos. It's pretty cool. Oh, thanks, man. You went down to the San Jose uh, York, uh, flea market, didn't you? Yeah, just, uh, just for this last episode, we were yeah. over in San Jose. And... That's huge, man. Yeah, we've never been to that one. There's one, um, there's one up there called the Flea, or whatever that we've gone to a few times. But uh, this was a new one that we we heard of from some guy on YouTube. Was like, hey, you guys should check it out. I think his username was Bugsy or something like that. He's like, just check it out. It's really cool. It's a lot more junk, which is what we like. You know, we don't like a lot of vendors and stuff. Like, I just love when people you throw all their. Yeah, when they just throw a big pile of stuff on the floor and I got to dig yeah. through it. That's the stuff yeah, I love. So, awesome. so like it was good. Egg, huh? What's that? It's like an Easter egg hunt. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely be back now. It was good. Yeah. It was really good. Enjoyed that one. Good to have you up in the Northwest. Yeah. We, my dad lives in uh, in Washington, so. Oh, really? Uh, Newcastle. Okay. Yeah, so that's why we're in for PAX and stuff like that. But we'll be here. Definitely going to be in this area. Cool. You know. We got a contact. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, dude. Thank you. See, what we should do next year is maybe we'll come up, <laughs> go to the expo, and then if, if you guys know of any markets in the area, maybe we go on a hunt. Well, we awesome. That'd be awesome. Some research for you. I'll be down cool. for that. Yeah. yeah, that'd be sweet. That'd be sweet. So, cool, guys. Do you need help with anything? Uh, right now I'm all right. I'm just kind of. I got a few people that I'm going to go talk to and film for. And, oh. Hey, how's it going? He I don't name? think he's seen any Jared. of your content. I have. Jared. You have? Nice to meet you, man. He's my youngest. He's my oldest. Brad. Sweet. I got a few people that I'm gonna like talk to and yeah, interview Cameron, a little bit, but good to see you, sir. Cameron, totally. Thank you. Retro Hunter. Thank you. Yeah, I'll see Retro you guys. Hunter. Hey, how's it going? Cameron? Yeah. Rob, nice to meet you. Thanks for talking to us. Dude, no problem. I'm gonna be yeah. around, so if you guys wanna hang so out. Let you go so you can go find whatever you want. Play some games. Yeah. <laughs> I've got I've got thirty bucks like usual, so I'm gonna go. I've got a little bit more, sixty. Yeah, I'm gonna go pull the trigger on a few things and see what I can get. So, cool right. guys, I'll see you guys around. All right, see you, see you man. Guys, oh. Awesome. Yes. Out to lunch. Out to lunch. They actually have a game called Out to Lunch. <laughs> Out to lunch. Hey, look. I found Waldo. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. I found Waldo. The Lion King, guys! That's a good game, though. Oh. So no, so no mocking Hey, what's going on, dude? Hey, what's up? <laughs> Checking out the games here a little bit? Yeah. I'm stuck trying to find Kirby. Need a bag or anything? Still. I've been at this for more than an hour, and I still haven't found it. <laughs> okay. Nobody's carrying it. You got a 
buy it? Yes! I've been watching this game for a year now. That makes me feel better. I owned Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. When it came Mario out. Oh yeah, I remember that. I wanted to play that too. How was it? It's actually really good for a Mario dancing game. I'm trying to find Sonic GX. Mentioned. That's just a Sonic Adventure. With F Zero GX. This game, awesome. Well, there's Super Mario All Stars. If, in case I have that. I have that. In case you wanted to rebuy Super Mario All Stars again. <laughs> Super Mario Galaxy. I I I own. Bomberman World. Hogan's Alley. <laughs> <laughs> we found that like four times. Soaps, right? Whoa, these are soaps. Oh my god, those are the oldest Pokemon games ever. These are soaps. These are like, you'd actually rub yourself with these. Soaps? Yes, what? soap. That's soap. Oops. You want Pokemon soap, buddy? Wait. This is how Sam washes his body every day. Use you Sonic soap. <laughs> Official soap. That's how we roll, guys. Yeah, damn right. Worst port ever. I can't ever even see it. You're shaking it too much. Final Fantasy. Thanks again for coming out to the retro gaming expo this morning. Change your mind. Uh, Brothers, there's no price. We can name price. Really? If there's no price on it, we can name. One dollar. How much? Well, we can't be that cheap. We gotta actually be. Okay. I, I, I think it's like maybe like 20, 20. You wanna walk over to the console arcade area, and there are some green sign-up sheets you wanna sign up on. How much was the other one? In the, in the box, it was 30. So probably like 15. Then that's fine. That's the front buttons. Okay, how much are you asking for this? 20? Oh, I can do. You, you, guys, you think I should try and claim? Yeah. Hey, I'll give you 20 for it. All right. 20? Yeah. I'm not gonna be cheap. These guys are, you know, coming out. Bringing all their stuff. Right. They had to lug it all here. Thank you. There's so much stuff here. Imagine all these guys had to actually lug all this here and set it up. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a platformer, but it uses. Well, that was an amazing it's, a pla it it's a platformer for the NES that used to real time physics. On the for the platforming Not and the uh, throwing of the objects and stuff. These are all reproductions. This is like. They're asking less for it. Fifteen. Wow. I only paid three bucks more than that, so I'm okay. But it does kind of suck a little bit.
to make a burger by by walking over the uh, food. Uh, what about these like guys that look like enemies? You can press the pepper button and, and spray them with pepper, and it'll stun them for a moment. We just finished. What happened? I'm not road. recording everything. I mean, is this important? Yes. yes. Oh, we are leaving for important. we are leaving for lunch at the Lloyd Center Mall. We have no idea what we're gonna eat. We actually barely know what they actually have over there, so it's gonna be kind of interesting. Yeah. Oh yeah. Over there for lunch and might I say, so you were just there? there. Oh oh. And your camera recorder? Yeah, yeah, me. I happened to get two games finally. Wait. Wow, that was a while ago. Oh lord. Oh Sam, I found him talking to them. Whoa, hey. The Nintendo World Championship. Good morning. Hey. 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 So when do we get to the ride? This is the ride. <laughs> yeah, we're oh, going up the escalator in the Lloyd Center, Wait, and okay, we're going. I'm already at lunch. I'm gonna walk around GameStop. So. All right. Yeah, go ahead. We're well, going to. Uh, yeah, escalator. We're going to the food court. You know what's even weird? If you ice skate too much, you'll fall through the ice. Sample. Sample. Thank you. Isn't you this sample? lady nice? What? She gives me. Free Oh, mm. oh. Ah, good. This is the one I was talking about. We're keeping this place in mind. Box. Quick Make update, friends. we just, uh, yeah. okay. we're eating McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's food. And pizza. And pizza. Very, very, very delicious pizza. So we're just pretty much talking about games, nerding it out. And, uh, we're talking about our fun experience at the expo so far. We plan on going to uh, Pat the NES Punk's panel, which is uh, in a little bit, and we'll let you see that in a moment. Yep. All but right. first, we're going to show you our catch, what we got. Yeah. All right, we'll see that in a bit. Hey, so we're going to talk about the stuff that we got and how much they, we paid for it, and then how much they're actually going for on the market. First, we start off with Nate. So talk about what you got there. All right, well, I got uh, just the metal PSP head-on. Uh, it's I got it for seven bucks, pretty good deal. Uh, I got also got Grand Trees Mill. The guy, uh, it was originally worth. He told me twenty bucks. I walked away, and then he came back and told me I could get it for ten. So I ended up getting it for ten. So, so the total was seventeen dollars. Seventeen dollars. All right. Next up is my catch. I got quite a bit to talk about here. I got uh, Kirby 64 for $18, Banjo Tooie for $13, Smash Brothers for $20, and Pilot Wings in the box for $20. So, how much in total, Sam? Uh, so, that would be 17, 12, let's see, 61 about. 61? About 61. $61 that that much at money. the Gaming Expo. All right, next up is Eric. What up? So tell, talk to us about okay, what you got here. First, I got uh, this Fox Sound thing for my cell phone, which was $6. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Well, 
technical box out. Uh, this is uh, Final Fantasy IV, $25, and these two buttons, $1 each. Oh. All right, and are you missing something? Because I thought you got like a... Well, I got, an extra, I got a mug here, and another one is being uh, right now mailed at the moment. Oh, they're going to mail it to you? Yeah, so that makes $12, I believe. All right. 12 25 37 38 I think around forty-seven. All right, forty-seven dollars ish. Yeah. All right. Next up is Cameron. Peace. He uh, he met us at the expo, and uh, what did you get? I got Sonic Adventures and Soul Calibur for five dollars and all, two fifty each. Wow. Nice. All right, and now we're over to CJ. Yeah. So what did you pick up? I got Halo Three. And the Halo 3 ODST. It's a it was selling for about 15 but yeah, fifteen dollars. And then I got them down to ten dollars. Ten dollars for $10. both ODS3, ODST, and, and the three. original. Yeah. And I got the Super Mario Galaxy Collector's Edition guy. Still sealed. Yep, still you sealed. You are never going to open or at least or at least value them. Yeah, you just don't hold on to it until you're 500 years old. And then, uh, this is Gideon, and he, I guess... All he got was a necklace. All he got, all got, he got was his wonderful cool necklace. necklace. I have 32 cents and a soda. That was and, uh, and then, uh, we have come down to Cameron. Cameron, what did you get? Um, I got Halo 3 Ultimate Edition. Then we come down to Jared. And, uh, I only got a necklace, and I've had this for a while, so... What the crap. He's last. Alright, so that's our catch. Join us in a minute when we'll go to uh, Pat's uh, panel. Hey guys, we're on. One of the one of the very few guys that actually knows what a Pandora is. And actually pre-ordered one. <laughs> that's 3D gold right there. Yes. yes. <laughs> Welcome back, Jaws 4. <laughs> I still haven't seen that review yet. Oh, I totally followed it. That's Jaws 3D, not Jaws 4. I found headphones. Limit on what YouTube does for video links. Oh uh, yeah, it depends on how many views you get. Exactly. It's usually <laughs> sat at 15 minutes. So Sam can go unlimited. Nope. He can. Yeah. Then there. he should. He does. Small round. No iPod. So why not? Why not? So what is your name, sir? I'm Kevin. Kevin, from the Pandora forums. Open Pandora forums. His collection is a lot better than mine is. <laughs> I don't know what a Pandora form is. That's the forums so nice for this. Nice to meet you, you don't Kevin. You too. Thanks for like, me. If you want to keep playing, check out classic team. Oh, yeah, we're still waiting for Pat the NES phone. Yeah. We're going to be watching. Oh yeah, I've been. Uh, I want to watch the last two meetings okay. that we're in there. Oh so god. Oh yeah. Too. <laughs> See ya. See ya. And there we go. That was awesome. Street Fighter Tournament, I was just like, I finally lost. I, I was praying for the guy to just beat me because, I mean, it would have ran into to this panel, so I don't know if you guys would just would have walked over to see me play. That would have been my panel for an hour, just watching me play Street Fighter 2. So, so this is going to be a pretty wide open forum. I have a new video I'm going to premiere, so that should be fun. But if you, if you have any questions or anything, I'll take questions. If you want to come up as a microphone, maybe that would be easier. Or if you just want to yell, I can hear you. <laughs> so I guess this is a two-parter. First of all, between you and the nerd, who has the most complete NES collection? And are you having any sort of uh, race to the finish, so to speak? A race to the finish? This question was if you guys didn't hear that. Who has the most complete <laughs> NES collection? Me. And what was, what was the, who was going to race to the finish? Ooh, Sonic the Hedgehog shirts. <laughs> uh, how did you approach the nerd for uh, his own episode? How did I approach him? Um, well, James and I are friends, and we worked together a few times in the past. Uh, we worked at a Comic Con last year and this year. Uh, we shot a video together that came out of him a couple months ago called uh, Family Game Funness. I don't know if you guys saw that one with him, where it's just me and James playing games randomly. And so, um, the opportunity came to me to get a gold NWC card, so the first thing I thought, this would be a great video. And so I called them up, and I didn't have to sell them, like, hey James, I can get a gold NWC, he's like, I want to do a video. I'm like, okay, let's, let's, let's put our heads together and, and we'll do something. It's just the idea of, no one, no one has really done a video about the Tenable Championships, let alone the gold one. And so we would never have an opportunity probably again to do it. So it was kind of just like, it just happened like that. 
Can you sign my Sega Genesis? Yeah, I can really? sign it. Oh, oh, sweet. Oh, right now. Okay. <laughs> do you have a Do you have a marker that's not Genesis color? Do you have a non-black marker? All right. See me afterwards. I'll find a silver one. All right. I'll do that. I did one. I did a Genesis review. Did you guys see that? Alicia Dragoon, anybody oh, see yeah. that? Oh yeah, I saw that one. You should, you're, 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 not, you're not old enough to have seen that video. <laughs> uh, I have two questions. One, uh, is that the same camera that you do for your reviews? Yes, it is. Don't steal it. Uh, no problem. I just wanted to know. Uh, I have two questions. Number one, uh, what's your opinion on the virtual boy? On the virtual boy? Yeah. It's an interesting experiment. I didn't get far. This is closed down. I do have every game for it, but it's only what 14 games that came out of the US. There was a, there was a few. Wario Land uh, is a decent game on it. Except here's the thing: it shouldn't have been a virtual game. You don't need to have a 3D for that game. Uh, there was also a Bomberman that came out in Japan, and there was a Tetris game that came out in Japan as well, which I haven't played. But so there's a few good ones. It's like. What's like the most memorable but weirdest cover art you've ever seen? Weirdest cover art? Yeah. What's that one? Uh, the superintendent was the old guy with the banjo. Failing. Failing. It's a strange, strange <laughs> cover. That one it always pops to mind because if you look at the cover, you can see the little ship up in the corner, but you would you would think it was like an antiques roadshow game right? yeah, that they had the cover. Did you ever beat Zelda 2? Yes. One time. Yeah. With the power glove. Oh. <laughs> no power glove. You can't beat any game with the power glove. Not even glove ball you can't beat with the power glove. Hey, uh, how did you pick up the gold edition of Nintendo World Championships? Very gingerly with gloves on. I just, oh, you got it. Oh, I got it. Um, someone found the article I wrote about getting the gray card. Five minutes ago. And so they contacted me with asking how they would sell a gold one that they had. And I thought they were kidding until they showed me pictures out. that it was real. And we went back and forth for a few weeks. I was trying to say, this is how you should sell it. This is how much you should ask for. He did his own research as well. After a while, I said, you know what? I'll never have this chance again. And if I lose my job, I can just live on the streets. So I made him an offer for it, and we worked it out. For how much? More than I care to share. That's how much <laughs> All right, um... Questions over there? And... Oh, yeah. God, is Sonic the Hedgehog asking a question? <laughs> okay, Pat. If all the NES games that ever existed were hot chicks, which one would you date? Oh, oh. <laughs> if all the yes. NES games were chicks, which one would I date? I would... I would... I would uh, let Top Secret Emerson get to second base on the first day. Duke Togo is a smooth character. Hi, sir. Uh, I realize this is a retro gaming expo, but in your opinion, where would you like to see the future of gaming go in relation to how the classics were developed? Can you repeat the last question in terms of what? Where would you like to see the developers of games go in the future? I mean, there's a reason why most of us like retro games. I think they should go back to, not simplicity, but something that's unique. I mean, we're at the point now where first-person shooters are becoming like the Madden games, or the new version every year. Do we really need that? Do we need to play the same game every year? We don't. We don't. What about, um, like, 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 the Super Meat Boy was great, because that was a great platformer, and it was, it's very simplistic, but it's fun, and it's well done. So, so it, I think that's where gaming should... Not in break. I mean, there's always going to be retro style games that are out, like the new Super Mario Brothers that comes out. You have like the 3DS remakes. But I think it should, it's like movie sequels. Try something unique. You may not make a ton of money, but eventually you'll catch on to a new franchise instead of just, you know, Call of Duty 2013. You know what I mean? Like, let's get away from that. Yeah. What was the first, like, horror game that gave you nightmares or something? Chiller. Um, Doom was pretty scary back then. I mean, it's kind of hard if you weren't around for it. Doom, playing Doom late at night with the lights off, 
and you go into a room, and all of a sudden you trigger the lights shutting off, the door slamming shut behind you, and now you have invisible pigs charging at you that want to eat you. That terrified me, the original Doom. It really did. And that's why Doom is one of the most important games probably ever. And I don't think it's a shame that it gets the credit it deserves, but I think it probably get even more. So, yeah. <laughs> Did you, did you have to get a special insurance policy in case your place went up and see Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to get an extra insurance policy for my rare case at some point. I haven't done that yet. Well, I don't keep them at my place. <laughs> I can't hear you. If you're on that gimmick game, you showed how you got on the cannonball and across. How do you find that stuff? Is it like by accident? Or I, the only reason I do that, there's a, there's a great YouTube video that shows someone going through it. But that guy admits in the video, he played on an emulator and he went through at like 25% speed. And so, and he admitted like that spider boss, that I think in the video he admitted he only beat it one time on actual hardware. Um, and that did, I didn't actually show how difficult it was from that. The spider boss is so hard because like I said, those enemies are intelligent. They don't just go by a pad and they wait for you to move to, to track you, they'll move back away, they'll wait for you to attack and do something else. It's really bad in terms of, sometimes it feels like you gotta get lucky to, to get past them. But, but it doesn't feel cheap. You never feel like, gimmick's a tough game, but you never feel cheated. Because the controls are so spot on that it's your fault that you die, it's not the game's fault. It's a game's fault for being that hard, but it's not its fault for you dying. So this is Sonic Extreme, the unreleased Xbox title made by the same company who makes the uh, Tech Deck games. Oh, yeah. it, was a, it was a pitch to Sega for a boarding game that eventually became Sonic Riders. Oh, yeah, I had that game. Now, son of a... <laughs> And look, we're back out of the expo. So yeah, that was owned. So um. I liked it. All and right, we just finished um, with, the, right. with the gaming expo. We're now headed home to play some games until like six o'clock, and then Woo. everybody goes home. Six o'clock oh. oh. in the morning. Wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> so, Sam, show them the games you guys got from. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. At the pad e, the NES Punk uh, panel, gave us um, the games. He, he kind of forgot to uh, hand out a few NES games, so he was, kind, he was kind enough to uh, sign and give a couple NES games to uh, a few of our prestigious that. attendees. That's yeah. right. That's, Hell yeah. That's Supreme <laughs> sig Suck it. Signature right I think there. the best one was probably Fester's Quest. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wow, that's right. that car, man. That is, that and that car, car is one of a kind. Well, stop that's, recording. That's Ground Control, which is a classic arcade in Portland, um, it's and we just and we just played Pac-Man Battle Royale. Pac-Man Battle Royale, probably one of the Poor best Lugo. arcade multiplayer games I have ever played. And, and, and only, and only because it's fast and it's an arcade game, and it's you get to eat everybody. And it's I'm neon. And it's neon. Nom, 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 nom. And uh, yeah, I, me and um, Devin Newworth and Eric. And Eric. 
The ones that came in first place were Jared we're and CJ. I came in Jared, first place the first definitely, time. CJ. Yeah. Definitely worth it. But uh, me, and, me and Eric. You should show your face because nobody knows who you are. There you go. Me and Eric. And me and Eric just finished. Um, also another race. Yeah, we finished a race. I came first. He came close, close second by that that exactly. much. Exactly. So, it was all because this train exploded in front of me. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> train. I'm not kidding. Whatever it was you, a train or a rail. So, <laughs> all right. So we're we're pretty much out of film on all both of our cameras. So uh, yeah, we're gonna stop now. And, but, and uh, we'll catch you back for the uh, final overview of what we thought. Yeah. So, Hey, so this is the recap of uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo 2011. We're doing that, sir. And uh, so today we're going to just go over what we thought was awesome and not so much. So the first question is, what did we like the most about the expo? Um, and I'll start first. Uh, I, I think the best thing was meeting uh, the Retro Hunters, at least one of them, and Pat the NES Punk, even though he really hated me because I wore a Sonic shirt. <laughs> 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 so, uh, so the CJ? Yo. So, so answer the question. Oh, my God. Um, you're, you're, what do you like the most about the expo? Uh, it, it was really fun. There, there was a lot of, like, uh, games to play, stuff to buy. Hot girls. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> That's what you said. No, I said there were only a few. That, okay, that, that, keep that, going. Get to the main point, right. back. Please. You're getting me off track. Shut up. Um, yeah, so I, I got to buy a few things, um, good time, tons of hot chicks, so... <laughs> what did I say? Hypocrite. What did I say? Hypocrite. Uh, hypocrite. Just so you, uh, just so you know, my channel generally is for a, uh, young audience. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. I'm ready to go. Right, no, come on. Uh, no, just conclude. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, so, so uh, Eric, you're next. Okay, uh, well, favorite thing would be just simply to have hanging out in there. Not only that, it was also like a blast from the past, like a blast from your childhood, just literally hitting you like a train, really hard. <laughs> like Cheer. all those memories just rush back in <laughs> that quickly. Achievement okay. unlocked. Memory! Arrgh. Exactly, kind of like that. Okay. It's just amazing, <laughs> all those memories, all those joys, like moments like playing in there, any Mario game, like those really old Mario games. I think I did get to play some Atari games when I was like young. And also, oh. it, it, like, kind of like was the ones that I did play over there were amazing. So, yeah, it was pretty fun. Also, I bought kind of some stuff to use. <laughs> you, you forgot the memories of the broken dreams when you get to an awesome level and then you just Oh, lose. yeah. You just lose and you're like, ah! Is that oh, there? life oh, is like the, wasted. Oh, like the versus Mario Brothers stage when I got to that one part and, and the, the trampoline board was missing. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny glitch. 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 <laughs> okay, let's get going. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, well, I got food. And I like that. <laughs> yeah, that's food! Oh, this is um, I got let me, let me just mention, the food was not provided by the expo. <laughs> we actually went to the Lloyd Center Mall. I, I bought some food, yeah. <laughs> Honey. I also got a free game that was signed by uh, the... Pat. 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 Pat the Ash Pump. If you're watching okay. this. <laughs> By that guy. Um, With the glasses. Slide <laughs> <laughs> the hand. So it was, it was pretty awesome. Hey, I don't know him either, so. Um, there was a lot of crap. There was a lot of cool stuff. And, and I'll be right back after I get the dog. I'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> there was a lot of crap. There was a lot of interesting stuff and there was entrance interesting stuff that had crap in it and well i really don't know where to go from there i didn't get anything so uh so your best thing was to see a lot of crap and a lot of good stuff <laughs> and a yeah, lot of good crap let's go with that short and sweet all right nate to the all right uh my favorite part was probably Meeting Rob from Retro Hunters, and of course going to the panel by uh, Pat. So and and of course being your filmer the whole way there. So hey, hey, hey just so you know, it was not my intention for him to film. Uh, he just kind of decided I want to be your filmer. <laughs> he volunteered. And I hope so. I hope I will be 
is a filmer for a lot more video stuff. No. I, I hope um, we'll be doing a lot of multiplayer stuff together. Maybe in the Maybe future. Some, It'd be really Maybe. funny. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some Pac-Man Battle Royale. But anyway, oh, it, was, so. it was good all around, so I'll see you soon. Uh, Alright, so the next question is, what was the worst thing about the expo? And oh, I think God. most of us will agree the worst thing was the temperature. Yeah. It was like 90 uh, degrees in there. Yeah. Almost the entire time. Oh, I could support it somewhat, but it was really hot after a while. Like, There were moments where it was so hot that we had to actually leave the expo so that we could um, cool, down. cool down. So, uh, yeah, I, I was the one who sweated less, even though I'm the one who actually has a jacket on. <laughs> Which is kind of disturbing, actually. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, actually, oh, it's like, is he an alien or something? Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe he just got, he just has, like, I don't know, genes that allow him to do that? Okay, yeah, I... Like, actually, the thing that I... Like, well, uh, well, maybe my well, clothes, like... Yeah. Eric, yeah. Eric, what did you hate the most? So, what did you actually hate mm, the most? Probably just simply just... Well, I was talking... Around. Oh, him. It's his turn. Oh, well, he said it. Um, it, it, was, it was really fun, you know. Um, yeah, the temperature, uh, the fact that they didn't have food. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, okay, so that candy. was actually a lie. They didn't have one free candy. One free candy. Yeah, actually, yeah. there were two stations that had free candy. Okay, yeah, whatever. but like I, one I, actually had good candy I and actually, the other had Jack. I actually so. took... Five candies. Wow! You're wow! Nice. Honesty. Come on! It's a take one. Right. I, I took one. I told you what I did. I took right. one. Then I went away. Then I came back and grabbed another one. Then I went away. Right. Eric, then I came back to grab another one. What is uh, you're a terrible children. Uh, okay. Uh, well, the only <laughs> melee thing that I hate is just doing nothing at times because there was something, nothing to do, just walking around, just looking at everything. Some of the things were really, really expensive, but yes, I gotta get because it's like really old stuff and things like that. So it kind of makes sense. But anything to that, it was pretty much enjoyable. And yeah, another bad thing, the temperature. They need to get a air conditioning or something in there. I think they. I, I think there might have been air conditioning, but it wasn't working that well because there were so many people. Yeah. So they started opening up the windows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That worked a bit. That worked a bit, especially if you were in like the free play area, because that was right next to all the windows that were open. But anyway, uh, Gideon. Same with the mixture of everyone's the temperature. Uh, sometimes you're just walking around and doing nothing. Uh, there were some funny parts here and there, but you know, overall it was good. It was mostly laughs. Jared, laugh and giggles. I would have to say <laughs> something different than the rest. Probably the thing I didn't like was that they didn't have nearly that many games as the other gaming expos. That's game. true. Are you sure about that? Yeah, like, the one we previously went to, you could, like, go up to the desk and ask if you could play a cartridge. They only had set boxes that would have cartridges you could play. Yeah. There wasn't a place Well, last time to. there was, like, there was a provider in the area that was willing to bring their entire collection. Yeah, I know, but there wasn't, there weren't nearly as many games. And I can understand, in the free play area, they didn't have as, nearly as many games to choose from. True. Which is, uh, they did have more arcade games, though. That but was it, an upside. But it did get really crowded weird. really quickly. Yeah. Yeah, near the end it was really, really crowded near the arcade. Especially area. after ten when everyone could get in. Uh so Nate? Alright, so um I think honestly I could I could withstand the temperature because obviously I'm lighter than most of everyone here, but um <laughs> What is uh, that? Actually I think the worst thing about it is not having enough money. I think it uh, just <laughs> being I think taking a couple hundred dollars would have been much mm. more entertaining than just having like twenty. I concur. Oh, uh, well, I, I would have. I would have to say that it wasn't really a bad thing as much as it was just kind of deterring. But and I can understand, like because of where we are economically and all that, that the prices have to be a little high, and they are video games that people collect. But some of these prices were a little outrageous. I yes, mean, yeah. For example, I was, oh, For God, example, God. I was looking for Super Smash Brothers for the sixty-four. And I'd go one place and they were asking 75 for it with no box, no instructions. And then I'd go somewhere else and they'd have it for like $20. 15 The lowest The lowest of low we found it was 15 but by the time, I had already bought it by the time we found that one. Because you thought it would be the For 20 deal. bucks, which 20 bucks was still a good deal because they usually go for like 30 but yeah. Snatchers was, Snatchers is a pretty rare game but 250 bucks. 
Yeah, it was a little spendy for yeah, snatchers. I, I don't know. I mean, let's be honest here. I mean, some of us are true to In what we are supposed to do in that we'll actually go buy a real game. But even when you go buy the real game, you're not really benefiting the person who made the game. You're just benefiting the reseller. Which, you know, I can go into a talk about that. But basically, you don't really have to buy the games for the Sega CD. It's so easy to just pirate them. You can take a normal CDR and just burn the game on there and run it. And that's it. So, um, yeah, that's my opinion on the overpricing. Um, and it's resellers, too, so of course they're going to, you know, charge them off of it. Yeah, I haven't yeah. done any piracy. Just, I don't know about these guys, but... Uh, so speaking of overprices, too poor to do piracy. What what was Yarr. the one thing that you wanted the most that you could not afford? Is the next question. Oh god. And um, I would have to say that's a tough one because I would probably have to say Klonoa. But the thing is, is Klonoa I actually couldn't even find there. And even if you go online to find Klonoa, you can't find it for 50, more than less than fifty bucks. So it's like a really expensive purchase. Um, but that wasn't really at the expo, so I just guess that doesn't really count. Uh, what I wanted, uh, I I'm sorry, I can't think of anything. I'll just have you guys, I'll That see counts you guys. as an answer, answer to Lenore, uh, I guess it, I guess it counts, but it wasn't really at the expo, because nobody uh, had it. Um, I, I gotta say, there, there was like, um, there was a Game Boy Advance that I really wanted, and then um, there, there was also a Mega Man game, because I, I like uh, second generation Mega Man. Um, <clears throat> there was, uh, yeah, a lot of Mario stuff that I really wanted, and I, I didn't have uh, enough money. I, I was going to get the Mario poster, but then I'm like, nah, I'm going to get Halo. That was something that I was wanting and then forgot about, and I came back and I was like, no, dang. Uh, well, mainly... There was uh, this many like uh, figure in pixel art actually kind of thing that were bought <laughs> right away. Like didn't have like chance to buy it. They were like sold in front of us. Oh, that was one. So I had to kind of purchase one for way more, like two dollars more for shipping and handling. Um, what other stuff? Just like a lot of overpricing, like and things like you would see like ten dollars for in some other places. Like uh, cartridge, small cartridges for Game Boy Advance and things like that. Uh, what else? Even like toys or anything that you find were real expensive. Some of them you really get because like they're imported from Japan or whatever country makes them. <coughs> China. Yeah, China. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's when it says pirate or something. But that's no, where no. the cartridges are made. No? Yeah, most yeah, of the cartridges the are made, but no, like toys or anything they're actually made like. In other countries and stuff like that. Uh, overpriced. Yeah. So they were kind of like way too expensive. Then they should have been, which kind of limits it. All right. Well, I wanted pretty much everything there, and I couldn't buy it because, as I said previously, I only had about thirty-two cents. So. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't uh, kind of aiming to get anything. <laughs> it would have been nice if I had some, a little extra cash to get something. Some Xbox 360 is always nice. <laughs> <laughs> like you would get one. Yeah, in that's there. total retro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it only came out for about ten cents. I mean, down it, I mean, it only came out like oh, I don't know, five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so I got nothing. If there's still the best college, I got free candy. I got a free game. I got food. I'm happy. Okay. Oh, and sales. Oh yeah. Um, I didn't see anything there I want. Did actually because one, I didn't actually look at anything, because pretty much every time I go to the gaming expos, I just want to play the games. Two, I only had two cents, so it wouldn't have mattered. Less than me. Yeah. I had 30 cents less than you. I, I went into the expo with $61 and came out with a penny. What? Wait, 50 went, came out with 3 cents. I had 80 and came out with 1 cent because I had, I, I had to pay back a friend and he was buying the game anyway. So. I, I came in with about like 5 and then came out with Halo 3 ODST and a 
collector's edition yeah. Super Mario Galaxy handbook. Uh, but, but that's because I gave him five dollars because he didn't bring any money, and my dad my dad actually lent him some cash. Yeah. So so he, he owes it back. So it's win. Or that, that's that's tiger's blood right there. All right, Nate. Um. Really, there were a couple games I was looking for, but nothing really important. The only really thing I wanted was uh, a new NES, because, but sadly, of course, I didn't have the cash for that. But um, I pretty much only wanted an NES and a couple games, of course, like Duck Hunt, that probably would come with it, and Super Mario Bros. And that was pretty much it. Not much. Now, funny thing, actually, we did end up getting an NES, my... Father. Yeah, our, me and my and Jared's father uh, got a NES. At and we're going to play Fester's Quest. <laughs> he and is Mario. going to play his Fester's Quest. We're not going to record ourselves doing it though, so yeah. Sex no. No. Oh. No. This is the ending, so. Oh no, we st we still have. No, I still have two more questions, but they're short. Oh. Okay. So the next one is: If you were going to give the Expo rating, what would you give it, and why? So for oh, me, wow. for me, I would give it a 8.5. The reason being that I really enjoyed it. There was a lot of cool nostalgic stuff. I got a lot of buy a lot of games, so that was a lot of good stuff. But as mentioned before, it's a lot of resellers, so it's really expensive. Um, it was really hot in there. Um, yeah, that was mostly my complaints. Not to mention so eight point five for me. All right. Um, well, <clears throat> it depends on how you look at it, really. Um, if you want to factor in everything that happened. Um, yeah, I'd say probably around like a 6 to 8.5, somewhere in that region, because like, nice the heat, the prices, um, the people were really nice, I gotta admit, you know, um, you know, we're all gamers united. Uh, <laughs> Retro gamers It is true, I mean, these guys were nice and they would haggle some. So it's not like they were evil and trying to make as much money out of us as they could possibly suck, but, um... I mean, for example, I I was gonna get a game that cost 20 bucks, and I, uh, I, I thought that was overpriced because I was gonna put it back because I had two games lined up, and, uh, he was like, well, actually, I'll sell it for 10, and I was like, well, oh, that works. Yeah, so yeah the got, same thing happened So I ended up only having to pay $17 for... A couple really, games. Yeah, Damn. for two games, so... It's really nice, actually. Yeah, they're really nice. And, um, honestly, I think the the time that we all spent together, you know, male bonding and all that, uh, what? was... What? What? Excuse what? Me. That's not the right word for that. <laughs> male bonding is the right word for that, yeah. Male bonding. Pokemon. Okay, okay, maybe that's, maybe that's too far. Um, you and me. Okay, keep going. Um, uh, okay, my score. Time uh, with, uh, no. Yeah. Four out of five. Why? Mostly already explained the complaints. Really hot. Something say prices were way too overpriced for some things. And that was pretty much it. That's eight out of ten for you non-math geniuses. Four out of five. Eight. Yes, let's go. Uh, I'd give it a a seven point five out of ten. Uh, the last game in expo that I went to was way better than that. I thought, uh, but overall it was it was pretty good. Played lots of games, had some fun. Kick your butt. At what? It's my first. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah Sometimes. yeah yeah. Uh, okay okay. okay. Push, 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 We're gonna cut this right. Mm. Um, I don't know. I would give it about an eight point four point nine. What kind of decimal okay, is that? No, 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 stop, stop, stop. It's one... Explain. Zero... It's one... No. I'm just gonna round up. Yes. Well, no. No, you aren't. Y yes, yes, I am. You're gonna round it up to... Hey, I'm the video editor. I can round up if I please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just keep going. Just go with your explanation. Okay, then. 8.4. I'll still be rounding that up. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, anyways. Eight. Okay, you're... Reason. Then round up. Round. Reason. Yeah. Reason. Uh, hmm. probably because there were a lot more vendors, it seemed. Uh, a lot more room. Uh, but, uh, the reason I didn't have it higher is because, well, as I already said, they didn't really have that many games. 
If I were to rate the previous one we went to, it'd probably be like a nine. But uh, no one cares. Yeah, no one cares. Cell uh. phone. So anyway, yeah. They still had, just to put it in perspective, there still were a lot of games, but compared to last year's, there were more at last year's than there were at this year's. And I don't understand why that is either. Maybe it's, just, maybe it's just because they decided they wanted to bring the best of the games that they owned as, instead of just bringing everything. Random. But anyway, so Nate? Um, I'd have to give it a 9. Uh, yeah, it brought it down a notch for the temperature, but that wasn't really much. But I'd have to give it, yeah, about a 9 because I got to meet really cool people. So really no real big complaints. So. All right, and the, fat line, the final question is, if you had the opportunity to go next year, would you go again? And I would definitely say yes. 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 I approve yes. this message. Yes. Yes. So does I'm Mario. I'm a joke Norris, and I approve of this message. No. 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 That was a joke on some All right, so. Yes, yeah. no, yes. It's a, yes. It sounds like all of us are. Yes. Yes. No. yes. Okay, no. so. All right, so the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, from, according to us, is a, a success on... Uh, on both fronts. Uh, so, success. So be sure to. Sh so thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this extremely long video, and I hope to see.